Hey, hello and welcome. My name is Eric and I'm from Games by Hyper. Today I want to show you how you can diff your blueprints. Um, normally I'm always struggling on if you have two blueprints that I was not able to compare them. For instance, in version control, you can diff uh, assets together, uh, but because uh, blueprints are not uh, the code uh, uh, specifically uh, in the file, uh, that means that you're not able to diff them in the regular way. Um, what I have noticed is that there is a method actually in Unreal Engine that you can use to diff your assets. Um, and sometimes I am working on something like an asset and uh, there's a specific component that does not work anymore. And I knew that I know uh, that it worked before. So what I want to do is I want to check, okay, what is actually changed be between uh, uh, these components? But I was always going through them manually uh, just to check, okay, what is actually changed? But today I was sick of it. I thought, okay, let me try something out. Uh, let's Google uh, a bit about the techniques, etc. And I found something uh, which I would like to share with you. Um, I hope this, uh, this, this method is good for you. If not, uh, let me know uh, below uh, what you think uh, should be a good method. So uh, let's go into how uh, you can diff this. Um, I've created a project and the project is just empty. Uh, I just Unreal Engine 5.2 project um, and made sure that it's completely blank. What I did, I created two folders. I call it one and call it two just one for um, the assets um, um, uh, itself uh, for uh, for uh, one version and two for the other version let me show you how i did that in the file explorer in windows so i created one and two and here on the left i have two projects uh, which i want to div so what i did i copy pasted the assets uh, into one specific folder and then i copied the other assets that are the same blueprints but maybe a different version uh, of them into the other folder so that's all and when uh, you have set that up you now have these here uh, in your folder so what i can do now is i can search for the specific components right mouse clicking and click diff selected and now what you will see is a diffing method that is in uh, the engine itself so um I, I was totally flabbergasted when i saw this uh, um, uh, so what you can do now is to see precisely what is changed uh, 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 and what is uh, changed where. Um, uh, for instance here, initialize safe settings, that function does not exist in the other one. And I know that because that is something that I add because I'm working on a menu system and in the extended movement component, I uh, want to, uh, based on what is saved from the uh, sensitivity of your mouse and gamepad, I want to make sure that that setting is stored in uh, the extended movement component. So we can now see that is uh, that's the specific part that is added. What we can also see is uh, every node that is uh, uh, changed um, precisely like this. So here you see the right, my old assets, and on the left, my newer asset. And I added a specific um, a variable in between just to make sure I uh, uh, have a value for the thumbstick. And uh, we can directly see this happening live uh, in our blueprints. So I think this is a perfect method to diff your blueprints. Um, for me, what I am going to do in my future I will always keep this project somewhere saved and keep two folders, one and two, and just copy paste these blueprints in there. I'm just going to press diff and by, by that I'm going to see what is actually changed. I hope this method is going to help you. Um, let me know if you have another method, uh, any other tips or whatever. Um, I hope it's just useful. Have a nice day. Bye. 
congrats you have reached the end of this video and of course i hope you liked it so please let me know what you think about it in the comments below uh, feel free to reach out anytime for instance via discord or patreon and don't forget to check out one of the videos that i will be posting somewhere here and of course i hope you have a very nice day bye